Okay, so today we're going to go to a friend's house and set up their Ubiquiti equipment. I don't actually know what that means exactly. Um, I do know that they ordered a bunch of stuff forever ago. And she had also mentioned, hey, you should bring your tools uh, because there might be some drilling, screwing, and hammering. I'm going to bring a bunch of tools to help get the job done. And I don't really know what else I need. But like, I'm going to bring some networking stuff. Actually, that's a good point. I probably also could use some pass-through RJ45 uh, heads. I think I should bring these. I need a bag or something for these. I'm so unprepared. This is not good. Um, what else could I bring? I guess maybe I should bring some Cat6 cable in the boxes and a laptop. I need a laptop. Laptop with Pop! OS installed, Linux, whatever. Uh, we need our power brick because this thing only power stays powered on for like a minute before it powers off. So that'll be fun. Hopefully they have electricity because the house is still under construction. Or not under construction. It's actually being remodeled. Uh, so I don't know how far along they are in the remodel process. They may not have electricity. I think I might need to bring a battery too. Okay, this is what I landed on for the tools that I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing a uh, drywall saw or sheetrock saw, some drill bits, and uh, whatever. The thing, the different heads for like different screws and flat heads. Drill, extra battery, because that might be important. Of course, you know, all of my tools that I would use to make uh, network cables and also uh, keystones. Tweezers, not actually tweezers, Velcro. Safety glasses, because that's always important. Uh, my fish tape. Stud finder. Uh, my RJ45 heads. Light. Laptop. And I think that's everything. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like that's everything I'm going to need. I think we're good. All right, let's go get this job knocked out. All right, ready? I'm ready. So weird. It is okay. kind of weird. It is. Do you need a moment? No. You sure? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So we're here at Julie's house, who has kindly let me come to her house to do her networking and stuff, mostly for the YouTube channel, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, thank you. Do you want to like show us around your where we'll be working? Yeah. So my house is under construction. So um, I pre-apologize for my mess yeah i did actually mention that before i came here because i like recorded before that just so you know but okay yeah Sweet. It's, it'd be nice to remind everybody because it is it is actually very messy in there um it's it's really messy <laughs> all, right. all right let's go take a look oh are you still doing recording yeah gotcha don't worry i'll cut out all those stupid parts okay so this is my basement i don't have ceilings or anything they're running all the wires all the cables um the pink stuff is cat six it was on sale from true cable uh so i got the cheapest kind of stuff and it's girly which is me so Support this is my... the uh the pink cable from true cable goes to breast cancer awareness i believe um yeah and yeah. i and i've got those just to let you know so there's one cable and there's a bunch more uh all throughout here yeah i ran one for every um tv i was gonna do and a couple for my access points which are right here it's all the ubiquity stuff that um stefano made me get yeah, I actually forgot about that. So uh, we did pick out this switch. Uh, this is the 24 port one. I don't even remember the model number because we ordered it so long ago. And we were missing one access point, but these are the U6 LRs we actually got while they were still in um, early access. Yeah. And of course, uh, at the time, they didn't have the UDM uh, Pro. Uh, so we're just gonna stick with this. This should be more than enough for the cameras that are gonna be around the house anyway. And then, of course, we have only one camera because I think we're missing some. And then three doorbell cameras, which will be so cool because they're going to go all over the house. Yeah, I think I got, did I get four or five cameras? I think you got five cameras. Uh, yeah, I think I did get five and cameras. Total. Yeah. So that's that. Actually, I actually don't even remember what this one is. Oh, it's a G3 Pro. Okay. Yeah. And I saw they have a new one where it's that, um, the rotor, the one that moves around. Oh, the PTZ camera? The brand new one that's coming out. Anyway, so this is gonna be my media center. So this is where I'm putting all my distributed networking and um, distributed um, audio, video, and any of my control stuff is gonna go down here. And then all the internet stuff is gonna go up here and the, <coughs> all the ubiquitous, ubiquity stuff is gonna go right there. 
Yeah, so we don't have a rack yet, but no. she did mention that she wants to put one in. Still deciding on if she's going to do like a floor one or wall one. Uh, probably, my recommendation was to look at AC Infinity since this will also be an AV closet. Uh, these are actually, oh wow, that's hard to see. These are actually all stereo cables here. And then here are all our pink network cables uh, through the house. So we actually got to figure out where all these go. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so those were installed, uh, they were installed a couple of months ago in my house. They've done nothing to my house, so they, it's been a while since we've actually um, attempted to do this. So this will be kind of fun remembering where everything is. Yep, it's going to be a lot of work. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started while you run in the store and get a network testing tool because I forgot that. And what else were you supposed to get? I forget now. I think it was it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. No, oh, no, no, no. no. Power strip. Power strip. Yeah, a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to run um, power here because I only have one power, and I'm going to try to get um, a couple more put in here to, um, you know, be able to serve all of my um, amplifiers and um, network cable stuff or networking stuff. Yeah. So. And since I'm here, where do you, since you only have one camera here currently, where do you want this one to go ahead and go? Wherever. Um, so I know we had them. There's one installed right there. That'd be the yeah. easiest place right now, I guess. Just um, right outside and the then door. there's, yeah, there's one on the back on that corner and then one on the garage. And then there's, I think two in the front. Do you want this one to go in the front? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it in front. That way I can see if my, um, construction people are here or not. I mean, I guess they're never going to be here because it's been <laughs> a year and six months. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll see you later. All right. So I think we're just gonna start off by like making the RJ45 ends of this cable. I really wish we had a patch panel um, because now would be like a good time since everything's open to do the patch panel work. But unfortunately, that is not how it's done. All these cables are extremely different lengths too, which kind of sucks. And interestingly enough, they have this Cat5 double shielded cable that goes somewhere upstairs i have no or i'm guessing upstairs i have no idea where um so wow this is all mixed up i'm guessing this has to go upstairs to like maybe the tv room because we have more speaker wire right here so this must go to the same place so we're just going to move this out of the way for now actually and we'll move all this speaker cable out of the way Man, there's gonna be like, holy cow. I don't know how many drops are here. We even have more double shielded right here as well. Uh, we're gonna leave this one alone for now. And we're only gonna stick with the Cat6 uh, ethernet cable that's all through here. For the least part of any, inst or the least fun part of any install is just making cables. So, man, it's like, where to start? I guess we'll just start with, uh... oh, I'll start down here, screw it. Oh wow, this true cable is very nice. These colors, I can actually see these colors. And you guys know, so I made a video in the past where I was like making cables and I was calling the brown cables red. Um, all these years, I generally thought the cables uh, were red. I had no idea they were actually brown, so. Uh, that, yeah, they, I can definitely tell these are a brown color, um, then they're significantly different than, um, what I've been, what I'm used to from mono price. So I think moving forward, I definitely am going to go with true cable. It's finally time to start hooking up all of our equipment. Uh, we got all the cables made. It took a long time, surprisingly a large amount of time. And, uh, so now the fun part begins. We start plugging everything in and trying to figure out where all the cables go. Uh, we do have a network tester now. Um, so that'll be part of it. It's a, actually a tone tester. So that's what we're gonna use. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff unboxed and put into place or at least where she wants it. And yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I gotta say. All right, so we got most of the cables run. I've like, had to cut one of the cables because I didn't bring any ethernet cables with me like a dummy. So I made my own cable with the existing cables and there's nowhere to put the laptop because the cables are too short and I don't want to cut any more of your cable. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to hold it like a dummy. 
while I uh, try and set up this network. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happened. So it's day two for us. Um, and since the last time we were here, the contractor who ran all the network cables actually uh, kind of messed up a few so that we found after tracing them. Uh, so he's ran additional cables. So we've got to go back through and make some more cables. And then also, uh, once we're done with that, we're going to check to see where we can go ahead and start mounting some of our equipment. So we can't mount our access points just yet because um, there's no drywall or anywhere to mount those to even though there are junction boxes for those and also we still don't have keystones because apparently they're out of stock everywhere uh, but we're going to try and mount at least one camera today as well as get our ubiquity equipment configured uh, just for like test purposes just to make sure everything's working so that's the goal hopefully we can get that knocked out uh, very, relatively quickly uh, so let's get started Thankfully, the contractor this time labeled most of the cables. Uh, last time he did not, so we actually had to just kind of make them as many as we could and figure out where they went. So basically, I'm just gonna look for like a very specific cable just so I could go ahead and make it. Uh, and then we can just do some basic configuration setup because it's gonna be a while before we can actually finish the, the rest of the house. Um, but we can start doing some of the some of the cables. So the one that I'm specifically looking at in this case is the uh, cast porch camera. That might say cat, but everything is spelled weird. It's like C A five T. I think I can't really tell. But I'm pretty sure this is the one we're looking for. So I got to make this end here, and then we will uh, go to where the new run has been done and make that end. Oh boy. Hey, at least they. Uh, at least he got it right this time, hopefully. Now hopefully I can make my cables correctly. <laughs> Honestly, I think the worst part about networking is making cables. Um, I don't even really enjoy networking that much. This isn't really my forte. Don't tell Julia I said that, because she's not here right now, so she can't hear me say these bad things. But networking's not really my thing. I'm not good at it, it's really hard. All right, now we're outside and we have an excessively long cable for where our uh, G3 camera we're gonna go. Not the dome one, but on the bullet cameras, that's what I'm looking for. So it's gonna go up in here somewhere. Uh, but before I even think about screwing into the brick, I am first gonna test this cable to make sure it works. And honestly, we could probably just push a lot of this back into the house. So that way um, they have a lot of extra, but whatever, that's fine. All right, well, it turns out these cables are definitely mislabeled. Uh, this cable here is for the TV, uh, which is totally not labeled correctly, that's fine. And then this, this cable is for the camera. So we're gonna mount the camera um, about like right here. And I think it'll hang just low enough to see out and towards you guys uh, so we can capture the majority of the porch area. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be to get that on there. But we did. So now we're just gonna go on the inside and pull that last little bit of cable. And I think we are good. And this cable is good. Basically we need to do this like 10 more times. <laughs> so that was just one. And hopefully the rest of these freaking cables are labeled right. And we're gonna be here for days. So this is like day six. I'm not actually sure. I've honestly lost track at this point. Uh, but I've gone to uh, Julie's house to go pick up the equipment because there was a burglary and some of it was stolen. And so what I'm gonna do, instead of configuring it on site there while she's out of town, I'm actually just going to configure it here um, at my house. And so that way, the next time we go there, we can hopefully, I think I just dropped something on the floor. Anyway, so hopefully we can just go in there, drop the switch and the cameras and everything else in place uh, without uh, having to configure it on site. So it'd be more uh, quick, I guess, installation wise. That's what I'm gonna do. So um, she's already got a Ubiquity account and I've got temporary access to that so I can um, update all of the hardware as well as configure it. And we don't really have a whole lot to do. Just some cameras, some more cameras. These are G3 Pros, by the way and a couple of access points. And these are the uh, U6LRs. So you actually ordered this stuff over a year ago and we've been <laughs> waiting to install it. 
uh, for quite some time while our house is being renovated. And uh, it's taking a long time to get here, and that's where we are. So, yeah, I just need to get connected to the internet and uh, start updating all this stuff. It's gonna take forever. Three weeks later. Well, this is cute. So it looks like Google Fiber's been installed, so that means we can actually get the equipment network appropriately. And it looks like they installed their cute little fiber wall jack here too. This is actually newer than what I remember seeing last time. And of course they have their mesh Wi-Fi system. They can't connect them all because we only have four power slots. Uh, but we're not going to use these anyway because we use PoE. We don't use this garbage. I mean, what's the point of putting Ethernet ports on your device if they're not even PoE? Or maybe they are. I, don't, I actually don't know enough about these. I just know that we're not going to use them. But hey, at least Google Fiber is installed. So now I just got to move all this crap out of the way so I can put our Ubiquiti equipment here. And we'll be good. We got the switch installed again. We got the cloud key installed again. We have an access point set up so the Wi-Fi is working. Uh, I'm having trouble connecting to that, but I'll figure that out in a moment. And two cameras are installed, one at the front door, one at the back door, and we just need to get the third one installed. I'm not sure exactly where, um, but once I find out, I'll get that done. So we've made pretty good progress today already, uh, which is great now that so much of the network has been done. We really just need to go around and finish doing some of these cables, and that's really there all is to, to that uh, for now. And of course, in the future, we're just going to have to revisit when we actually get these access points installed properly in the ceilings versus just sitting on top of the switch and also get them uh, mounted appropriately once the drywall's in. But who knows when that's going to be. Just so you guys what I got going on, the switch is here, access point is here temporarily uh, just to make sure our Wi-Fi is working. Uh, we've got our cloud key, Google's fiber jack and all that stuff. A big mistake, cowboy. And then, of course, the uh, cameras are set up outside, which you've already seen. You're dead, bitch. Yeah? As we determine time and time again, I am definitely still learning and uh, making mistakes, plenty of mistakes. So I actually had to rush back here because I incidentally made everything on this network available to the internet. So I could literally go to the IP address of the camera uh, via its WAN IP address and see everything that was going on because everything was misconfigured. So let me show you what I had to do to uh, fix that whole situation. So I had to put Google's little thing back on here. Uh, this black port is plugged into our switch and this white cable is plugged into the um, fiber jack that's somewhere up there and now lost. So this is acting as our router. And then now all of this equipment is sitting behind the router and acting appropriately. So now I can't reach the access point, the switch, the uh, cloud key plus, or any of the cameras via the uh, open internet, which is pretty funny. Uh, this big mistake there, but I got it rectified. Also, funnily enough, while I'm here, uh, just to prove to you that my dedication to this, it's actually late at night and I'm the only person here and all there is no power in this house except for this one room there may be power in other rooms but i haven't found it and so it's like eerily creepy uh being here all alone so i'm either currently dead uh and this is found footage or i survived but i don't know what that's going to be like for you guys because i don't know if i'll be around <laughs>